Hi friends, this is Parliament's third video. Today's topic is Remainder Theorem and Division Fact. What is Remainder Theorem? Say, P of X is any polynomial of first degree or greater than first degree. It means linear polynomial, quadratic or cubic polynomial, nth degree, any polynomial. And A is a real number. Okay. Now, X minus A, it is a linear polynomial. If we divide P of X polynomial with X minus A, then the remainder is P of A. Okay, this is the remainder theorem. If P of X is any polynomial of a first degree or greater than first degree, and A is any real number, if we divide the polynomial P of X by X minus A, then the remainder is P of A. Okay, if you solve problems, you can understand this remainder theorem. It's very easy. Okay, now division fact. From childhood, we are studying about this. Dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. In this P of X, it is the polynomial dividend. G of X, it is the divisor. And what about the question? That is Q of X. And remainder, we denote by R of X. So P of X equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. This one, just I will do one small example. Suppose if 20 is there, we are dividing by 3. We are getting 3, 6, 18. Remainder is 2. Okay? This is the remainder. 20 is dividend. See, P of X, this dividend, 20 equal to G of X, 3 into Q of X, percent is 6, plus remainder is 2. See, 3, 6, 18, plus remainder 2, 20. We are getting 20. In polynomials also, we will check this one. See, friends, 4P square plus 2P plus 2, it is quadratic polynomial. We divide this quadratic polynomial, that is second degree polynomial, with the linear polynomial, 2p. Okay? 4p square plus 2p plus 2. Divide this by 2p. See, first, 2p, here 4p square is there. 2p, 2p times, it will go. 2p, 2p is there. 2, 2 is there. 4, p into p, p square. Okay? 4p square by 2p. First term by this 2p, we will get 2p. Okay? Now, do subtraction here. 4p square, 4p square, cancel. Now, bring down 2p. Divide once again by 2p. 2p, 1 times it will go. Okay? Plus 1. It will go 1 time. 2p. Do subtraction. This here also cancel. Now, bring down 2. See here. 2 means it is constant polynomial. Okay? Constant polynomial, degree 0. This is linear polynomial, degree 1. If compared to divisor, remainder degree is less, then we have to stop the division. So, here also, we have to stop this one. This is remainder, R of X. This is P of X. This one is polynomial P of X. This is divisor, G of X. This is question, Q of X. Now, this is R of X. See, first one is P of X, polynomial, given polynomial. And this one is divisor, G of X. And what we are getting here? That is quotient, Q of X. And this is remainder, R of X. Okay? Now, we are having division fact. Dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. We will substitute in this. P of X, given polynomial. 4p square plus 2p plus 2 equal to g of x. 2p into 2p plus 1. What is quotient? 2p plus 1 plus remainder 2. This is the division fact. If you multiply 2p into 2p plus 1 and add 2, you will get same thing LHS. Okay? This is the division fact. Okay. Now, we will go to the next problem. Okay. Now, this is the cubic polynomial. Find the remainder when x cube minus p x square plus 6x minus p is divided by linear polynomial x minus p. So, what is the remainder? We know the remainder theorem. x cube minus p x square plus 6x minus p. Let that is f of x. 
f of x equal to x cubed minus p x square plus 6x minus p. Now this is linear polynomial x minus p. What is zero of this linear polynomial? X minus p equal to zero. That implies x equal to p. X equal to p is zero of this linear polynomial. Okay. Now replace this x. F of p equal to in place of x substitute p. Okay. P cubed minus p into p square plus six into p minus p. Okay. P cubed minus p into p square. Once again, p cubed plus six p minus p. It is five p. So how much we are getting? P cubed, p cubed cancel. Only five p we are getting. Okay. That is the remainder. See, very simple remainder theorem. Once again. This is the cubic polynomial. This is linear polynomial. We are dividing by x minus p. We have to find remainder. Okay. For this linear polynomial, what is zero of the polynomial? X minus p equal to zero. Then x equal to p. Now let us take this as f of x or p of x. F of x polynomial. I have taken here. Now f of p in place of x, I am substituting p. So p cubed minus p into p square plus six into p minus p, we are getting five p remainder. Now check whether the polynomial p of y equal to cubic polynomial, okay? That is multiple of two y plus one or not? We have to check this, okay? How to check this one? See, in this polynomial, if we divide by x minus p, we are getting the remainder. We are getting remainder means this is not the factor of that one, okay? Here also. With this, we have to divide this. If remainder is zero, then we can say it is factor. And if something remainder is coming, it is not the factor. Okay? We will check that one. So, what is p of y? Given polynomial is 4y cubed plus 4y squared minus y minus 1. That is the given polynomial. See, we have to find zero of this linear polynomial. 2y plus 1 equal to zero. That implies 2y equal to sin plus 1 to right side transpose that is minus 1. So this implies what is y equal to now transpose 2 also to right side minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now substitute in place of y minus half. So p of minus half. How much we are getting? 4 into minus half whole cube plus 4 into minus half whole square minus in bracket right minus half once again. Minus 1. Okay. In such cases, take care about symbols. Minus y. So somebody will get confused. Simply they will write minus half immediately. Minus, but put minus symbol first. Y means minus half is there. In bracket, you mention that. Now what is this? 4 into minus is 3 times. So minus will come. 1 by 2 cubed is 8. Plus 4 into 1 square is 1 by 2 square is 4. Minus of minus it is plus half and minus one. See four one ja four two ja four one ja four one ja. What we are getting here? This is minus half. Minus is there plus it minus minus one by two. Plus this is one here plus half and here minus one. Plus one minus one cancel. Minus half plus one plus half cancel. We are getting remainder zero. See. Here, yeah, remainder is 0 means given linear polynomial is factor of the cubic polynomial. Okay? So, depending upon the remainder, we can say whether it is a factor or not. Okay? See here, 2x cube plus 3x square plus ax plus b. It is the cubic polynomial. When this cubic polynomial is divided by x minus 2, remainder is 2. And same polynomial when divided by x plus 2, this time remainder is minus 2. Then what is a? What is b? Okay, we'll find by using remainder theorem. So let p of x given polynomial is p of x 2x cubed plus 3x square plus ax plus b. That is the given polynomial. Okay. Now x minus t is first linear polynomial. What is zero of the polynomial? Zero of x minus two in shortcut I'm writing. 0 of x minus 2 linear polynomial is 2. How we are getting this? Put x minus t equal to 0. x minus t equal to 0 means x equal to 2. 0 of this linear polynomial is 2. 
Okay, now substitute in place of x, we have to substitute 2. P of 2 equal to 2 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square plus A into 2 plus B equal to remainder 2. Okay, not 0, remainder. Remainder 2 we are getting. Now, calculate this. 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 2 into 8 plus 3 into 2, 2 is a 4 plus 2a into 2, okay, plus b equal to 2, 2 8 jack, 16, plus 3 4 jack, 12, plus 2a plus b equal to 2, this is 28, 2a plus b equal to, 2a plus b equal to 2, minus 16 plus 12, it is 28, I am sending directly 28, we are getting 2 minus 28 is minus 26, this is equation 1, 2a plus b equal to minus 26. Let it be first equation. Now, if this polynomial divided by x minus 2, remainder is 2, first one is over. Now, we will divide by x plus 2. It means same procedure. 0 of x plus 2. 0 of x plus 2 is what? Put x plus 2 equal to 0. We will get x equal to minus 2. Okay. Now substitute same thing. P of minus 2 equal to 2 into minus 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 whole square plus A into minus 2 plus B equal to remainder is what in the second case? Minus 2 they are telling. Okay. See, this equal to what? 2 into here minus 3 times. So minus 8 plus 3 into Minus minus plus. So 2 to the 4. Minus 2a. Here plus it minus. Minus. Plus b equal to minus 2. See 2 8 jack. Minus 16. Plus 3 4 jack 12. Minus 2a. Plus b equal to minus 2. Okay. Minus 16 plus 12. It is minus 4. Minus 4. Minus 2a. Plus b equal to minus 2. Now, minus 2a plus b equal to minus 2, transpose minus 4 to right side, plus 4. We are getting 2. So, I am writing this as equation 2. So, I will complete here. Minus 2a plus b, minus 2a plus b equal to, how much we are getting? 2. It is equation 2. Take it as second equation. So, first equation, second equation we have to solve. We will get a and b. See. First equation, 2a plus b equal to what? 2a plus b is minus 26. And minus 2a plus b is what? 2. Solve these two equations. We have to do either answer or subtraction. I will do answer directly. 2a to a cancel. Minus 2a plus b cancel. b plus b, 2b equal to. Here if you do addition, minus is more, put minus symbol. How much more it is compared to 2? 24. Difference is? 24. So what is B? Minus 24 by 2. We are getting minus 12. So B equal to minus 12 we are getting. Substitute B value in either first equation or second equation to get A value. So see first one. 2A plus B equal to minus 26. 2A plus B equal to minus 26. 2A plus B in place of B I am substituting minus 12 equal to minus 26. So 2A equal to Minus 26 plus 12. If transpose minus 12 to RHS, plus 12. How much we are getting here? See, 26, 12. Here symbol minus is more, so put minus. How much more it is? 14. So what is A? Minus 14 by 2. We are getting minus 7. So in this problem, we are getting A equal to minus 7 and B equal to how much we got? Minus 12. This is the answer. Okay? In this way, we can solve them. Okay, last problem we will see. If the polynomials x cube plus ax square plus 5 and x cube minus 3x square plus a divided by x plus 2, okay, with this linear polynomial, we are dividing cubic polynomials. Leave the same remainder, find the value of a. Means if you divide by x plus 2 this polynomial, whatever the remainder you are getting, if you divide x plus by, by x plus 2 only, this one also, you will get same remainder they are telling. Remainder is same. 
See, let P of x. This is the polynomial P of x. x cube plus x squared plus y. One more polynomial G of x. x cube minus 2x squared plus c. Okay. Now, G of the linear polynomial. x plus 2 is linear polynomial. What is G of this linear polynomial? Put x plus 2 equal to 0. x equal to minus 2 we are getting. Okay. So, how to get remainder? P of x is the polynomial. P of minus 2 is a remainder. Okay. Now, similarly, G of minus 2 is remainder. These two are equal. Okay. P of minus 2 equal to G of minus 2. That is the given condition. See, I am substituting here minus 2. Minus 2 whole cube plus A into minus 2 whole square plus 5. In this, I substituted minus 2 in place of x equal to here also substitute minus 2. Minus 2 whole cube minus 2 into minus 2 whole square plus A. We will simplify this. Minus 2 whole cube is minus 3 times means minus 8. Minus 8. 2 to 4. Minus is 2 times means plus only. So plus 4A plus 5 equal to here minus 2 3 times. So minus 8. Here minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4. But once again minus is there. So minus will come. Okay. Minus 2 4 ja 8 plus A. Here simple way. Minus 8 plus 5. We will get here minus 3 plus 4A equal to here minus 8 minus 8 minus 16 plus A. Now subject is A. Bring LHS side. 4A plus A if you transpose to LHS it is minus A equal to here minus 16 is there. Right first minus 16. Now transpose minus 3 to RHS. That will be plus 3. 4A minus A is 3A equal to minus 16 plus 3. Say minus is more. So put minus symbol. How much more it is? 13 more. Okay. So 3 equal to minus 13. Therefore A equal to minus 13 by 3. This is the value here A in both cases. Okay. Right. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Okay. Thank you.